Is so we are about to dig in to the feminist drama that we hinted oh. at. Oh, we are going to do right that from the beginning, from 54? Oh, you, oh really? 54? Yeah, no, I just went straight into it with my timestamps. just went... Okay, you just went right into it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought you had some other moments that you wanted to tie that. All right, so I'm just going to play it. Is this double speed? Let me remove it from double speed. I'm guessing this is where the question. All right, so we just finished. This is at the end almost, right? So we just finished talking about morality and everything, and we had um, all very interesting points, especially me. Uh, and now this is the during the Q&A part. Okay, so the audience is asking questions. So let's see what happens. Oh wait, but there's some background to this. Okay, go on. So the background to wait, this. You tell us. I'm going to go to Washington. I'll be right back. Yeah, clearly you can see on this panel that we have a bunch of men, and then we have the lovely, incredibly intelligent, one of my favorite journalists, um, Khadija Khan, here as the only female panelist on the far left, and so you. The, the background is that there were supposed to be two other women on this panel, but they had to drop out for various reasons and leaving only this one woman on stage. And um, this, uh, this, this imbalance of the sexes um, caused a bit of contention for some other people who happened to be other speakers at the event um, who were sitting in the audience. And uh, they had their opinions on this and we are about to, yeah, get, get in, get into this. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have audio? When I played it last time you had audio, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this wait, now I can't hear anything. Oh, wait. Oh, the other hilarious thing about this clip is that you can hear, you can hear me, because Bobak was the one filming this. You can hear me oh, sitting no. next to him reacting. <laughs> really? We and, can. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. no! And Rivka, okay. Rivka is sitting a few seats to to, to my right, and so you oh. can hear her reacting as well. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's listen, let's listen. This is good. I didn't know that. This makes it even better. Okay, watch. Next question, please. We do, guys. This is we do, by the way. Hi, we do. Uh, I'm surprised, you know, because wait, I, we can hear. I can't hear anything. It's really? so quiet. Can you turn it up? You guys, can you guys? Can you hear it? No, I wait. She doesn't even spoken yet. Oh, okay, yeah. so what's I, happening is that at the end of the panel, there's a Q and A. And that people yeah. in the audience can ask questions. So that's I know how and to And I think this was the first question. So this is how it there comes we out. go. Look, look, there look, we look. go. People say we can hear it. I can barely hear good hearing a lot of that's yeah, let's go back. Uh, I'm surprised, you know, because since maybe one hour and a half, we are hearing a lot of male voices, you know, not letting the only woman speaking, the talking mic, you know, and they put, you know, and they speak. Well, okay, so three people clap. So like after one hour of speaking, I'm hearing a lot of male voices speaking, not letting the only woman speak. Okay, so I want you to remember, because I take this criticism, um, I'm going to take, I took this criticism seriously. After the event, I went I, and I told her that I'm going to go rewatch the event, okay? And maybe like she's right, okay? So, but let, let's listen to what their questionnaire is saying. So we are not out of the patriarchal, you know, for from religion or no religion, you know? That was, was that you? You said what? Was that you? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> wait, wait. The only woman listen to Susan again. Talking mic, you know, and they put you know, and they speak. So we are not out of the patriarchy, you know, for from religion. What? <laughs> that was <laughs> so then I was like, what? <laughs> okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Let's continue. On no religion. You know, the inheritance is here. Sorry for what is this. Hmm. That's like three uh, people. I'm just came back. Wait, look at Vidu's face. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and you can hear Baba going. Baba <laughs> is like, hmm. 
<laughs> Mina's so confused. Look at her. <laughs> it literally looks like it. Right. Uh, I'm just. Came back with all look, Vita just shaked his head like this. Okay, always, and I'm talking to Khadija. Hmm. Uh, I'm just came back with all always the same story, you know, about legacy. Mariam, I don't know if you're here. <laughs> but um, Armin, I think you know, what. So then, then she proceeds to like talk about laïcité for another like two minutes, mm -hmm. just talking about laïcité and oh. translating it and all this stuff for. Okay, okay. So that for the, what purpose the, okay, I don't so know. So the next one you skip to is uh, fifty-seven nineteen. Okay, okay. Let's go to fifty-seven. So she doesn't talk about the patriarchy stuff for a while, and yeah. then in a in a country. Okay, uh, just before we take this question, I think. The accusation of patriarchy is very unfair. We're all friends here. We give everyone oh, a free just, chance. I and there was someone else I, I would email. like to answer. I'll let you answer. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, I appreciate your concern. But Wait, Armin, this is so funny. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> Vidu says, I think we should let Khadija respond. And then you hear Rivka in the background go, let her? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Rivka said that? Wait, hold on. Hold on. You have to listen. Hear... I just want someone else to I'll let like you answer. Yeah, yeah. Right, First of all, I <laughs> Okay, it's okay. So, I don't know if, if we do understand. I, I think we do understand this, like, but a, a lot of people would take issue with how. Was he joke? Was he like playing into that joke like okay this is patriarchy i'm letting you speak or did was he not he aware been, i'm not sure because <laughs> he does was... play into it later okay okay i don't know if he was playing into it right now or does he not understand does he not understand how this would be perceived by some people like oh my god oh okay thank you for letting us speak okay but let's, let's, let's but okay let's see what she says let's see what she says. by the way you can see nuria was supposed to be in this panel and someone else? Oh, it's not here. Okay. Mimsy was supposed to be involved in this panel, but... I think. Huh? I think Mimsy was supposed to chair it. Oh yeah, Mimsy was supposed to be on this panel and Nuria. Yeah, but it didn't work out, so yeah. yeah. First of all, I appreciate your concern, but being born and raised in a religiously conservative household, it was never easy for me to make my voice heard. I'm here on the stage. I have, uh, I have done a journey to be here, and I have faced a lot to be here. But trust me, all my esteemed panelists, they are very much like me, and I am like them. <laughs> um, but the discussion is happening in a very friendly manner. I am very honored to be a part of this. So are we. Thank so you are we. so much. Thank you. And, but I would say so. I'm going to take you right there. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he's playing. Okay, now we, that now it's obvious he's playing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I want you to say that um, religion. Uh, we are talking about that how people would you know find their uh, basis uh, to have moral society, to have a cohesive society. So look at China. China for two millennia based uh, their moral values, their laws, and their principles on Confucianism, which is not a religion. Uh, religious doctrine so it's not that morality cannot exist outside the religion but in, in my view it does exist uh, outside the religious framework it, it cannot exist within this framework but you you can have religious uh, uh, values uh, uh, you want to call it morality it's up to you but morality i think comes when we realize oh that uh, uh, human decency needs more than what somebody so you can see that i said i need to i told message to me do that i want to respond to this sitting on the sky is telling you and i would like to add uh, christopher hitchens code uh, he said and i quote that human decency uh, does not come from religion it precedes it so okay okay i just said okay, okay here's where is... things get spicy here's so where things I... get spicy okay so i just said i want to respond to the patriarchy claim and that's a big red flag already okay because 
I don't know if you've noticed, but I happen to be a man and it doesn't sit well with some people when you say, as a man, if you say, I want to respond to the patriarchy claim. Okay. So let's just see if that would have. Um, or have any opinion about it, really. Look at, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. But look at exactly. As soon as I said, I want to have a, I want to respond to the patriarchy claim, there's something happening in the audience. Just pay, t- like. So. Absolutely. Thank you. I respond to the patriarchy claim. Um, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. A man is speaking, man is speaking about patriarchy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so it's not going very well for me already. <laughs> what? So she, what is she saying? She said it's not what I said. I, I don't know, I don't know, what is she saying that she is not saying? I haven't even said anything, so I don't know. She's saying that that's not what I said, but I haven't even spoken yet. What haven't you not said? But um, so do you understand what she's saying? She said, it's not what I said, but I haven't even spoken yet. She obviously said patriarchy. Okay, but. I haven't even said anything. And how do you know what I'm saying? So she's saying that, what is she saying? She's saying that it's about, okay. So, she told me this after the event as well. We had a good, I had a good conversation with after. She said about not giving her the mic and taking away the mic from her and not letting her speak is not letting her speak. It's about that, okay? So which I, which is something I want to come back to after this whole thing is over, okay? So she said this is what it's about. So there is an attempt to make me just, just let this go, okay? But you know, I don't know. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> what the way you said that is so sheepish like but i don't know i have a problem <laughs> all right all right let's continue it's so funny though because you can hear people the audience be like oh no <laughs> they know his okay. reputation they know where this yeah. is headed yeah 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 okay let's watch how do you know what i'm saying it's okay. It's okay. It's not going to be. It's 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 not about. I think um, I just got to make one claim. Okay. I think I think patriarchy is very similar has become for some feminists not all to the concept. This is very important that I said not all, okay? Jimmy makes fun of me for saying not all, but it's very important for me to say not all, especially given the criticism that comes after me uh, uh, after. I said patriarchy from some feminists, not all, okay? Is very similar has become for some feminists, not all, oh to the concept of God. <laughs> me? Because Wait, <laughs> you can hear me? Yeah. You're like, I, oh, boy. Say, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, patriarchy for some feminists, and feminists in the background, uh, and Susanna in the background is like, oh boy. <laughs> look, look at this. <laughs> I know where this is headed. Look, look, I know what's happening. It's, it's, it's not about. Look, it's listen, listen to Susanna. I think, think patriarchy is very similar, has become for some feminists, not all. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, I didn't know your audio is just so much the cherry on top. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, boy. <laughs> Patriarchy <laughs> for some feminists, not all. Okay, let's see what we're discussing. Oh, God. Because it has become for some feminists, not all. Oh, boy. To the concept of God. God. Because everything that cannot be explained, every problem, every ill, instead of having a nuanced discussion about what's causing it, you blame it on the, on the okay. patriarchy. Yeah. Okay. okay. This is yeah. this is a disservice to feminism. Okay. Okay. This is the patriarchy of the gaps. Yeah. The gap. Usually, what harms society is more complicated than just patriarchy, patriarchy, patriarchy. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we've gone over that. Now. I got actually a, a Jimmy, I think, clap. Who are clapping? It's only Jimmy and you and Bobak, I guess, right? There's nobody else. But it's weird because a lot of people. In the front row, it was. Oops, sorry, I have what? a bit of a leg. So in the front row, at least where Bobak was recording, it was Bobak, me, Varia was next to us, then it was Rivka and Jimmy. Yeah. So I, okay, and it's weird because after, basically what I said was like, 
the patriarchy is like it has become the patriarchy of the gaps. You just fill in the explain like it's a, a unfalsifiable claim, and anything that any problem is being explained with patriarchy by some feminists. Again, some feminists, okay, not all feminists. Um, and I just compared it to the God of the gaps, where everything that you don't have the explanation from, you just explain it with God. I said for some feminists, patriarchy has is basically acting, um, functioning like God does for religious people. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to hear the comeback to me because some there was another person that came and suggested that I don't understand feminism. A feminism is a lot more nuanced. And I just and I pointed out to her that I was specifically you know, talking. That, that's right after this. Oh, okay. It's fine. We're, I think we've, we've gone over that very. Uh, so this gentleman, unfortunately, yeah. um, could you be <laughs> <laughs> me and Rivka are dying in the front row. <laughs> so somebody was cracking up. Wait, wait. This is such a good. I didn't even notice this joke uh at the time so video is like the next person who's speaking is like a man <laughs> so video is like this gentleman unfortunately <laughs> oh <I'm sorry. laughs> oh my god this is so good so this gentleman unfortunately <laughs> 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 Uh, wait, who said apologize for your penis? Who said that? Was that you? Thank you. Apologize for your penis. Wait, who was that? Was that you? That was not you. That was someone else. Please recognize the privilege before we speak. Finally, <laughs> okay. Wait. Now, who said apologize for your penis? I think Susie has a leg. Well, I think I think no, no, I think wait, sorry, I have a leg, so it's hard for me to tell. Go ahead. I, I, I think um, I think what it was either me or Rivka that said that. OK, OK, OK. Oh, at this point, I thought I thought Mariam is talking about me. Um, I think it was talking about me because Mariam was like, this constantly making fun needs to stop because that person that I was responding to it was like an esteemed guest or something, right? And I thought Mariam was like, oh no, I made Mariam angry. And I like, I don't like, I like, what did I do this time, right? But I think it was Vidu <laughs> because Vidu was like, not like it was joke after joke after joke. But Vidu is a comedian. So I don't know. I, I can't, I can't, you can't blame him for that, right? But I think like Mariam was like getting concerned about that, um, all this comedy happening at her expense. So I think now Mariam is speaking. She's like, okay, let's cut, let's cut it with the jokes. I understand where she's coming. Yeah, from. I I get it as well. I get it as well. Like, I mean, uh, Mar Mariam is up for for open dialogue and people questioning each other's. But I think like she was like, okay, like the jokes were getting too much, too much at this point. So that yeah. Wait, I love but, this I mean, comment though. It's but I don't want to blame I don't want to blame Vidu for this because Vidu is v v I mean Vidu's jokes are good and he's like it's just a second nature to make jokes like this, right? But well, and also but he's trying to I, diffuse the situation because people were uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. So I, yeah, yeah. But but I think I think yeah. I can see every perspective right now. Yeah. Uh, what what do you want? Charles is saying Rivka's laugh is absolutely maniacal. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it was fantastic. There's nothing against Nadia. But so so can I just go back to her uh, her comment about my city is very important. Yeah. What she said. Yes. Look look at the mess I made. I make mess. This look at this. This was a this was a very civilized conversation going on and then look what happened. Okay. We've been waiting for a while. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, this lady is saying feminism has many positions. So you said, so she's saying feminism is a lot more complicated. I don't know what this is a response to. Women don't just talk about 
she, he, she said women don't just pay, speak about patriarchy. Never, never, you go listen back to what I said. Never did I say women or feminist only speak about patriarchy. This is why it's so important for you to clarify that you're not saying, even though it's cringe to constantly say not all some, but it's very important for you to say that because even when you say that, people are like, no, feminists don't just speak about patriarchy. So I have to, you have to say that. And right. look, and here, here I mentioned that I remind them. Exactly why, exactly why I said not most, not all. That was exactly the line I used. See, I like this is exactly what I said. I said not all. I think it's going to be. Everyone in the audience is like, Armin, just stop talking, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not all. 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 Not why should okay but this was such an important line that i should have added she said women don't just speak about patriarchy i had to make sure that i remind them that i am not somebody that was accused all feminists or all women of just blaming patriarchy all the time i that i'm glad that i managed to put that reminder in there because that was a i don't know what that was a response to <laughs> Wait, are we? Is this gonna go back to morality? Let me see the private. Yeah. Chat. So this is the end of the feminism drama. Unless we want to, do we want okay. to say anything else about it before we move to Varia? Yes, yes, yes. I want to move to three moments because her issue specific was specifically, and I thought maybe I, you know, I have a problem with false memories, guys. You don't know. During this trip, I lost my phone. Okay. And I specifically remember that I left my phone in a restaurant, even though I left it in a car. Like I had vivid memories of something that didn't happen, right? So I went and spoke after, after the conference was over, okay? I went and I spoke to the woman who told, who questioned us about patriarchy and like not letting her speak, okay? Um, and we had a really good and friendly discussion, actually. It was very constructive, okay? And she told me that, we didn't let her speak and we were taking the microphone away from her and i was like i don't remember that happening okay well not and we it was you because you're the only one yeah. sitting next to her okay yes and i was like fair if i've done that i'm gonna go i'm gonna go look back at the video okay and if you're right i'm going to reevaluate. maybe you're right okay but I did that, okay? So maybe maybe because I was like, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I did not do that, <laughs> right? So maybe like, maybe I'm wrong. Let's go and see what happened, okay? So let me look at this moment here, okay? Here's exhibit A. Because they're justifying a methodology that did not command. So you can see I have the microphone. Theory that is responsible for a lot of harm and a lot of crime, and that's why you should never, never say yes to Islamic reform. Okay. okay. Um, so, I, I'm just... You saw she raised her hand and she wanted to speak, and she, as soon as she wanted to speak, I gave her the mic. She wanted to speak, I gave her the mic. That was exhibit A. Okay. I had the mic. She wanted to speak. I gave her the mic. Okay. Here's the exhibit. Um. Two. Inviting you to join us. To There's more of this. I'm just showing you. To these standards. Thank you. So you can see I'm holding the mic. Okay. Very briefly, very briefly, very briefly, please. There, she wanted to speak, and I give her the mic. Okay. Now, last exhibit. This is actually the best one because I didn't even notice that she wants the mic. Okay. So I actually, at this point, she wanted the mic, but I have, I was looking at the lead, so I didn't notice. At this point, I didn't notice that she wanted the mic, but look what happens, okay? On that point, I wanted to come back to you and, and steal me. Wait. Uh, no, no, it's a little bit before, I think. Yeah. When they look at a baby, they're like, oh my God, so cute. We need to protect them. It's like, it's, it's, you can't defend itself. It seems like we, we have this, we have this. Wait, it's a little bit further. Yeah. I don't, I don't like, well, we don't like that babies. I want to cut it. Look, she wants. You can see she wants to speak. <laughs> Look, she wants to speak. I'm not noticing her. I'm not giving her the mic, right? Oh, man. So I give her the mic, 
and I apologize. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't notice that you wanted the mic. So because I apologize to her for not noticing that she wanted the mic. I guys, all of these are happening before the accusation of us taking the mic away from her and being patriarchal in her. So this one, this one, like I, 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 this was a sincere apology. Like, oh, sorry, you wanted the mic. I'm so sorry. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> oh man. On that point, I wanted to come back. You saw? Okay. So that was, apparently this was not false memory. I gave her the mic every single time that she wanted the mic. I gave her the mic. There we go. Patriarchy. Uh, mm. Mm. Not a, yeah. Not just, yeah. Uh, by the way, as we're speaking, a lot of people are like using their membership. They're gifting or gifting. Silva Patriarchy just gifted debunked. somebody. Patriarchy, well, not no. Patriarchy is a thing, but not over there. At least not on this panel. I'm joking. Okay? I know, I know, but I have to clarify. We have to clarify these things. Selva just gifted a one membership, and Selva is in um, is a ten month member. He he is enjoying the hell. Saying okay, he's saying he's enjoying hell as as a ten month member. And there was another person that was uh, celebrating their membership. Guys, this is a new thing. You can ce celebrate Secular Sekai as a five-month member. And he's saying Super Chats are back. Um, so thank you, guys. Guys, when you reach milestones with your membership, apparently now there's a thing that you could actually um, celebrate your, how long you've been a member. But thank you, Selva, for That's celebrating so cool. your 10th one membership with gifting another person with a membership. I appreciate that. Who was gifted? Oh, Cosmic Sweet. Heathen was gifted a membership by Selva. Okay, so Cosmic Heathen, you are now a member. That's fantastic. All right. Do we want to <laughs> do... Do you want to do... I think the the rest of it is a philo too philosophical for people. I think people here just wanted to for us to go over the drama. Uh, let us know if you guys want us to do the uh, moral philosophy part, if you guys want us to review that as well, because you might get bored of that. Because the video will be released... Uh, um, uh, on our channel uh, at some point. So you could, if you're interested in that, you could watch the entire thing, right? So let's not do that. What do you think? Yeah. Wait, yeah. I had one comment though. With the whole like accusations of um, patriarchy thing, I have to say like as someone who was there, no one, may, okay, clearly not no one because of what ended up happening, but there was not a second that I was watching this panel that I was thinking about oh, who's a woman, who's a man, who's contributing, who's not, and maybe some radical feminist or whatever would be like, no, Suzanne, that's your exact problem, blah, blah, blah. I was just listening to what people had to say, what their arguments are, and how they responded, you know? And then when that comment came forward, I felt like it was so infantilizing to Khadija to be like, oh, look, like you're so weak, basically saying like you almost don't have a voice and like, look at what's happening. These men are taking it away from you, all this stuff. I felt like that was so unfair. And I really liked the way that Khadija responded to it, just being like, you basically like, you don't know what it took for me to get to this spot. And I'm like, I'm proud to be here. I have no problem with my other panelists, whether they be a man or not. Like, I just felt like it's so... If, if someone had said something like that to me, I would feel so, even if it was a woman that said that to me or about my panel, I would be, I would feel so belittled. Yeah. Like, I, I would feel so belittled or talked down to. Yeah, that really bothered me. Yeah. No, that was a very fair point. You actually made that point during the conference a couple of times. Um. So many people came to me after the conference and told me that uh, they thought I had a fair point. Um, and I was like, you guys, what? You guys didn't, <laughs> like, there was no clap. Like, they didn't clap. They didn't cheer. Like, it was just There you, was clapping blah, blah. and cheering when you said that. I you know, but it was just hear you. it on camera. No, no, I, I'm just. Hold on. I was saying it was just you, Jimmy, and Bobak, and, and, and Rivka, okay? I just think, like, but the, not from the other people that came to me after. I think like there's this um, hesitation of uh, in the, especially in that environment to challenge um, 
my kind of narratives you know what i mean like they said mm. like so many people after were like yeah thank you Armin, for saying that but but they wouldn't do even a single clap when i was saying it do, while i was saying it because i think they didn't want to be seen as i don't know misogynistic or something like that but anyways but mm. guys um Mariam was yeah, I, very, I wanna, very yeah, go ahead, cool go ahead. about it. Mariam was very cool because I went to Mariam. I was like, Mariam, did I do something that I'm not supposed to have done? Like, did I like cross the line or anything? Because this is her conference. Um, and I just wanted to make sure that, you know, her 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 conference, her rules, right? Um, and she was like, no, it's completely okay. Uh, she didn't have anything, any problem with me pushing back. Um, she just had a problem with the jokes piling up. Okay. Uh, and she was just being concerned for, you know, her esteemed guest feeling like she's being targeted, like, which is like, as a, you know, which is very fair, I think. But Mariam was so, like, multiple times I felt like I stepped out of line and I checked with Mariam and she was like, so, so good about it. She was like, no, it's completely fine. You're good. And so I appreciate that a lot. Um, I do yeah. want to highlight, I, we got to I also want to say, like, there were a lot of people at this conference, particularly like, okay, I don't know how they self-identify or whatever. I identified them as generally within a vein that could be most easily identified as radical feminism. And I have a lot of disagreements with them and a lot of contentions. And I, I don't like behavior like that because I think it's belittling and infantilizing. But I actually... I, I can still really respect the work that they've done within our field, right? So I just want to say, like, us reviewing this and giving our opinions on it is not in any way to take away from what they've contributed or what they've given to this movement or what they've given to their communities in terms of, like, these issues that we deal with together globally. Um, but there's, there's in, especially in this conference, there is a great deal of disagreement in terms of how to deal with these issues. And many people think we're headed for a giant schism. Um, and so I think it's worth talking about. And we just, our style is we talk about the, these things in a, in a very humorous way. So all that to say, like, no uh, disrespect intended. Yes, of course. And uh, D is saying, wearing my Atheist Republic shirt at work today. Woo, that's great. Yay! Guys, you can buy your, buy your shirts in the description and uh, um, link below. We also got two super chats from the same person. Um, one of them is this. Uh, Brandish saying, on the, on the morality thing, I always hear Mormons respond to the problem of evil, but we need evil to exist so we know what uh, bliss is like. What's your response? I'm saying that's heresy. That, I would say that's heresy because you're saying God is incapable of coming out with a way to make us know what bliss is like without evil. I mean, God is all capable. But they're Mormon, though. So Mormons oh. are heretical anyways. No, no. I mean, do Mormons not believe in an all-powerful God? Like, the Mor can the Mormon God not do Their everything? construction of God is freaking wild. Okay, I, I know. I don't even but know is, how... <laughs> Is let me just check. Is the Mormon God all powerful? They think I mean, that like the, we can die and become our own gods, yes. and our own planets, and no, no, no. Okay, but for, I know, I know, I know. It's it's, it's not crazy. But the, pro, the 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 main crazy part that we focus on. First of all, if their if their God is not all powerful, then there is no problem of evil. <laughs> okay, so the, the you know we're like okay, but. You have a problem of evil if your God is powerful, all powerful. So I just checked their God is all powerful. Okay. So if your God is all powerful and you say there is no way, there is no way, no, no, no way at all for us to know what bliss is like unless there's some evil. I'm like, there is no way. That sounds like a challenge for an all powerful entity. There is a way that you can't say there is no way for God. There's always a way. Okay. So there's my answer. Um, Here's that answer to that. Um, and here's a, another question, another super chat by Brandish. Thank you for the two super chats today. But let's hear the drama first. Okay, yeah, I did. The, we did. We finished the drama. Thank you for the super chats. That's very really sweet. Um, by the way, Oxymoron is also pointing out that our entire live chat is becoming members. At one point, we're Hell not going to yeah. have any. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. So, oh, Susanna, I mm -hmm. want to. 
if you don't want to, if you're not interested in reviewing your panel, which I think you did very, very well, okay. You're one of the, yeah. <laughs> Everyone drop the Susie sweat emoji in the chat because <laughs> that's how I feel. I think you were very, you know, I think the only, the only, I think the two parts that you didn't do well was because people just like messed you up, right? One, like, at some point, uh, the moderator didn't know what you're supposed to be speaking about, which was like, it's fine. And you were like caught off guard. That was one moment. And another part, the Jimmy kind of like started questioning you about something that you're not even associated with. It was about me and you didn't know how to deal with that. So other than those two moments where you just had to deal with something that was like, what the hell am I even responding to? Um, because, but the other parts, you were very nuanced, very... Um, I don't know. I, I enjoyed your points. I think you were making um, some of the great points in the entire conference, not just on your panel, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, ha, but there was another part that you were very good, which was not even when you were even on a panel. You asked a question, and I think like we should on the next Q and A before we do the Q and A, we should take that part out because you were accused of being a terror sympathizer. Right? Yeah, we talked then, about that on uh, the news show last week. Yeah, so you so then I asked a question, and she was because of her question, she was accused of being a terrorist sympathizer. So we're gonna uh, cover that part in the next Q and A. I mean, I think you beat me this time. I was like, I was like, usually I get the. Hot <laughs> I mean, I haven't reached in a conference like this. I haven't been dubbed like a terrorist sympathizer yet. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, in your first conference, you managed to outdo me. Like, army search drama. Like, I'm not, not compared to Susie, apparently. <laughs> yeah. so, oh, my God. Yeah, it was yeah. funny. Yeah. So that, it was, that, it was yeah, intense. So, it was intense, yeah. Uh, guys, it's, it was actually very intense. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I thought, like, I thought Susie is going to be really stressed out, but you handled it well because you had a like woman, a woman from Afghanistan wearing traditional Afghan clothing, somebody who suffered under Taliban, looking at you and saying like you are like on the betraying side of her us. oppressor, yeah, yeah, betraying Afghani woman and being on the side of her oppressor. So that's like Jesus Christ, are you serious right now? Right, so we should go over that because I think actually your point was very fair and you had a very good question. And I think um, I forgot to ask Bobak to put that part out. So that's why we don't have it right now. I want to review that part a bit very, very well as well. But anyways, let's um, let's go to- No, I think we can, we can definitely cover it. I, I just want to say something about my panel. Like part of the reason why I didn't like it is because I didn't feel like I, I, I feel like if I had because we were the first panel right like i wish that we had been like a few panels in to get me warmed up and it was like so early in the morning i had a rough morning <laughs> like i just wasn't in the right headspace for it and i know people like thought that i did well but from my perspective like i know within myself when i reach that flow state right like when i reach that spot where i am articulating myself the way i want to articulate things where i am taking these larger concepts and bringing them out and in are in speaking and explaining them concisely and delivering it in a way that makes sense to people like i i can actually feel when i'm doing that well and i can i know when i'm reaching that state where i'm really saying things on a on a more nuanced level than just oh blast me law bad free speech good like and i didn't feel like i really hit that spot I'm, i was frustrated because i started to scratch the surface when i talked about mubarak Bala a little bit but i didn't execute what i know i'm capable of and that's why i'm frustrated with it and so there was another panelist later, like her name is Pregna Patel, and I disagree with her on a bunch of things, but she just has this, she's very, she's so erudite, like she, she just speaks and she compounds these ideas so fluidly. And when I was watching her speak, I was like, see, that's where I get, that's where I know I can get. And I didn't get there and I was disappointed by it. Okay, but it's kind of... 
really unreasonable expectation for you to get to where you can get on the first goddamn panel you've ever had. You know, f okay. So for example, I, I, on my panel, like everyone, th everyone tells me I did very well. Okay. I think I didn't do very well compared to what I could, what I do on a, str on a stream, on a YouTube stream. Okay. Because a YouTube stream Same. is like, I'm, yeah. So I'm more comfortable here. Like, I think like if this was a YouTube stream, I would have done, I would have been making my points a lot more comfortably and a lot better. Things would have come a lot more naturally because it's just the environment I'm used to. Okay. I'm not often thrown like, and I've been on panels, but not, but I'm not as on panels as I'm off uh, as I, I'm not on panels as often as I am on streams. So I'm not as comfortable there. So you're like, why did I not do? Why do I? Why was I not doing the hundred percent that I could have been doing on my first panel? So that's like a very, very unreasonable expectation that you had you had of yourself. I think, yeah, yeah, I like the streams, people. Um, also. Uh, Imran I is saying so. achievement on yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a lag. Imran is saying achievement unlocked because you've been called a terrorist sympathizer. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below